it's a bit strange for people when they first arrive because the documents are not out on the open shelves like they would be in a library and that what people actually have to do is to order up the documents that they want to see from a catalogue either on the internet or sometimes on a paper catalogue. That's the important thing about the invigilation of the room is that um, everybody who comes in is treated in the same way. This is a photo of Welshmen in the International Brigades, Brunete, August 1937. Alwyn Skinner was killed during the Spanish Civil War and he was from Neath. He's the man there. He was a member of the International Brigades. We don't know whether that was his scarf, but it came in with a collection of his letters. Anyone can come in and use the archive. We do ask people to give us some advance warning. Um, it's something that takes a little bit of getting used to, the fact that you can't just browse the shelves. It's because we're a small and quite specialist archive that we have to know that we have the staff available to get the documents out. And also, um, when you're in a reading room or a search room, as they're often called in some archives, um, there's always going to be somebody with you. And one, two, and a J, that's eight, ninety-eight. Um, but it really is lovely. Um, title deed from the late 16th century, it refers to a house out on the Gower. Um, it's particularly interesting because it gives the specification to the building. It still exists as a property. Parchment lasts very, very well. Mm. So it tells you that there has to be a stable for five horses, there's going to be two chimneys, there's going to be a kitchen, uh, there's going to be two chambers on the upper floor. Um, it also gives specific measurements in feet, which is particularly unusual at this time. It's a good hardy source. It's tougher than paper. So we know it lasts a thousand years. Um, and by having this wax with the impression of your seal on it, we verify the document as being accurate. Margaret Kirkland was a member of this uh, Women's Freedom League Swansea branch. And her family owned a shoe shop in Goat Street in Swansea in 1910. Initially, the um, the group kept the name the Women's Social and Political Union, but in 1907 they chose the name Women's Freedom League. And finally we have the university's own archives, and those date back to 1920 when the university was founded. Archivists have a lot of expertise and they're very keen to help. To get a reader's ticket you need two forms of identification, one with a signature and one with your address on.